Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. UTEP's just been unable to put together four quarters. You take little snippets out of each and every game during this losing streak, and it looks like a pretty good football team. But mistakes at crucial times have doomed them. Can they finally clean up their act and get this thing going in the right direction? We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Lambert from the seven. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Butler's mental toughness makes him difficult to rattle when he's on the road. And here he is now, Kirk, taking the field for the first time today. Let's see how he does. And not only does this guy not get rattled, but he's also a guy that seems to have an uncanny ability to quiet a crowd by making such big plays. Quick out to his receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tackle around the 42-yard line. So they'll pick up a first down there on a four-yard completion. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First and 10. Ball on the 48. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw, picked off. This quarterback better start making better decisions in the passing game. Otherwise, this corner will come up with even more picks in the future. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. They come out on an empty backfield. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. Mike three, Mike three. Humble, humble, humble. Set. Green 90. Green 90. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Brought down at the 36. Queen makes the tackle at the 36-yard 36 36 line. line. Third, Third down. down. From their own 36-yard line, it's third down. Mike three! Mike three! He lets it fly. And they make the stop at the 40. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Right left, right left. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He fights forward to about the 40. Gain of two yards. That'll make it third and nine. So we're looking at another third down here. with room to work. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Dorsey gains six yards with a short completion. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23. Mike three, Mike three. Bumble, bumble, bumble. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. White's the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. This is the tenth play of this drive. About four yards away here on third down. Three down, three down. Zero, zero, Mike three. Set. Oh! And he's tackled right away. The pass was a little bit high, but this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Five wide. Slings it out and it gets tipped. You know, for you young cornerbacks and young defensive backs, this is a great example of just being smart and efficient as a defender. Instead of taking a chance and going for that interception, he was smart. He got in position, knocked the football away, and didn't give the receiver a chance to make a play on the football. Austin on the right side, and he is drilled at the five yard line. That makes it third and goal. This is the 14th play of this drive. Touchdown, Utah! Splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 13-play, 63-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. They line up to kick this one away. Miller takes it from the six. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. UTEP's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. He goes out of bounds around the 28-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. 
that makes it first and ten. ten. Made right around the 48 yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. And now he's got room to run. He makes his way to about the 42. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-0, UTEP. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 40-yard line, second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. She had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. Throws it, and that one's incomplete. Hamilton's intended receiver on the play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. Third down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Slings it. And he's tackled right around the 18-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Throws it and it's tipped away. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. From the 18-yard line, second down. Gives it up the gut. They'll bring him down at the 18. This is the 12th play of this drive. Steps up in the pocket. He's in trouble. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. 13th play of the drive coming up. Touchdown, Longhorns. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 13-play, 72-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. From his own goal line, he makes it to the 25-yard line. They 
They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. It's the tailback. And they'll get him in the backfield. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful of the play-action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. And they push him out at the 25. the 43 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 43. Taken down right around midfield. Seven yards there. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Mike three. Mike three. Here we go. Here we go. Rose it to the halfback, and he's got it again. And he's level at the 45 yard line. The 45 yard line. First down. Man, oh, what a hit. That makes it second and six. Bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Texas El Paso will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. Moves up in the pocket. Brought down at the 42. That's a team of one on the play. That brings us fourth and seven. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. is into the end zone and this will be a touchback this is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime tackled for a loss From their own 19-yard line. Second down. So at the end of the half, we get a tie game at 7-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation 
that excite. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The passing numbers put up in the first half are hardly gaudy. Less than six yards per pass for these two teams. So you look at it and you want your quarterback to take care of the ball. I, turnovers are killers. I yep. get that. A little, but, too, a little too conservative in the first half. The quarterback, you want him to be a little bit more aggressive out there? Well, if you're not, then it's going to make it extremely easy on the defense. And I say that because if you don't push the ball down the field, I don't have to respect the whole field. There's a reason the field's 52-plus yards wide and 100 yards long. I mean, if you make me honor that and you, you, make it, you throw it down the field 30 or 40 yards and you make me run all the way down there and cover that area as well, it makes it a lot harder on a defense. Right now, the passes are so short, you're only making me cover 30, 40 yards. It makes it easy on a defense. The pass rush, you get your hands up and try to deflect balls. You know the ball's coming out early. It makes everything extremely simple on a defense when you make passes just dink and dunk, dink and dunk. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He's to the 20. Paco at the 27. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Nice run, and he's brought down. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. They're about four yards away here on second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. it out to maybe the 39-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. Second down. Mike three. Mike three. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. You mean the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Larry, Larry. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Down he goes at the 35-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. He gets to about the 24-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Great tackle at the 29. was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. Yeah. 
Second down, 15 to go. Ball in the 29. Three down, three down. Check 13. Check 13. Quick throw to the tight end. And he tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. He's under some heat. Looking for his man, incomplete. Brad, this is a good job by this defense of getting after the quarterback. And until this offense finds a way to slow down that pressure, if I'm the defensive coordinator, I continue to dial up the blitz. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And they hit him in the backfield. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. From their own 19-yard line, second down. It complete to the halfback over the middle. He's tackled at about the 19 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's tackled right away. That makes, that makes it first, first and ten. ten. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. That makes it second and six. on that one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That makes it third and seven. So at the end of three, we're even at seven in this one. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Huge, huge stop by the defense here early in the fourth quarter. And in a tie game, now let's see if their offense can come to life. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Williamson awaits the snap. Brewster fields at the 37. He's taken down at the 46. Well, the defenses have certainly been the story in this one. Uh, the defense is playing great. I might recommend dropping down a level or two instead of playing at the higher level. Go down to the freshman level. Give yourself a chance to execute a little bit better. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. He fights 
forward to about the 49. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Guns it. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. From the 33 yard line, first down. They'll go ground. He fights forward to about the 33. That makes it second and 10. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. They'll bring him down around the 22 yard line. First and ten, ball on the 22-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Here we go. Three ninety-five. Throws it and it's tipped away. That makes it second and ten. He works the left for a nice game. That's a good work. Gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Big hit there to stop him. Just to get him to think a little more about it, they're going to call a timeout. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up. And it's good. A quick update now. Here's Reed. Top 25 action on the way. And for FSU, they look to continue their hot streak. Florida State has the edge, 24-17. In another game, time to get you up to date from Lubbock. The Mustangs defense is feeling it after the pick six. The Mustangs are on top, 24-14. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. Texas El Paso to kick. Gathered in at the six. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. Got some open field. To the 10. And he returns at the distance for the lead. Don't get too excited at home, folks, because I think this one is coming back. Here it is. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over two minutes in the game. Makes it out to about the 30. Five wide. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. Weasel. Weasel. 
He wants it all. They bring him down, but not before he gets a glimpse of the end zone. That makes it first and goal. So now it's first and goal after the big pass play. Touchdown! And now they're winning this ball game. And he tacks on the extra point. So a four play, 80 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. The score now, 14 10. Brought down at the 33 yard line. UTEP still got a chance here. They might come up short, but not for lack of trying. Well, I've been impressed with this team the entire way. Now we're going to really find out what they're made out of. With the game on the line, late in the ball game, how do you go out and execute? You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. A little over a minute in the game. Caught, open field. He goes out of bounds at the 39. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Three down, three down. Zero, zero, Mike, three. Set. Green on the cut. And he's taken down at the 43. First and ten. Ball on the 43. Mike three, Mike three. Combo, combo, combo. Set, huh? There's a strike complete. He's down. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. hit before he can go anywhere. You know, the wide receiver here does a good job of running a nice route, but I think it's the concentration of what he did at the end of the route that made the difference. He felt the coverage. He knew that he had a man on him, but he's able to keep the defender away from the football and go up and make a nice catch. Out of bounds at the 12-yard line. From the 12 yard line. It's second down. Throws incomplete, intended for his wide outs. White was the intended receiver on the way. Third down. Under a minute left in the game. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ballgame, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost them the possession. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. Oh, 
He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Woo. I think everybody in the stadium felt that hit. He really laid some lumber there. Tackle after positive yardage. Call the game of four yards. That makes us third and three. Two times, two times. This one's in the books, and our final score: 14-10, Texas. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.